Hello and welcome to part two of how to use JotForms where I'll show you how to do more of the designing, how your form looks and feels. Uh, if you have not watched part one on how to actually build the form itself, you can go click the annotation on the screen wherever I decide to put it, otherwise it will be down in the description. So let's go ahead and get started on uh, editing the look and feel. So if you are following along with uh, part one, this is where we ended last time where we just completed our form uh, and adjusted the settings to our liking. <coughs> so what we're going to do uh, is come up, make sure we are on the setup and embed tab, not the properties of whatever we have last clicked on, which happens to be our submit button. So set up and embed and you're going to click the designer button and JotForm will open up the theme designer. From here we can do a whole lot more. So right now uh, I want to maybe change the how our submit button looks and just click on the submit button over here. We can choose a different style. It would be kind of a silver but you can barely read the submit but you can change the text there but I want a different button. Um, kind of like this black with a little bit of gray. So we're going to go back once we're done with that. Um, <coughs> you can change more of that um, later, but I'm not going to do that right now. Just to move along, you can change the color scheme of your uh, form. Once we have our colors selected, you can do that. And again, you can change more uh, options and simulate certain situations where your form might not work. But we're gonna move on. You can choose uh, a background image. Um, so the background image would be this bit that we just colored. And the form background would be this white area. Uh, you can choose the mess with the form layout. You have it be square corners or kind of slightly rounded or very, very much rounded. I'm going to keep it square. <coughs> uh, adjust the form cover. So I'm going to change, I'm going to change the form cover. Um, so I'm going to upload my own image. And upload a cover image and adjust the height and width. Um, when they form cover, you can change the font and the uh, size of the font, you can change the label styles. So that this would be the label like where it says full name, email, and blah, blah, blah. Change the line layout. And if you want to adjust certain aspects, you just click on uh, the area uh, for the most part and just, and then a set of, um, Options will show up, so you can change the uh, background image if you want, and all of that. You can change the font color and the background color, so I might make this kind of a bluish color of sorts. You can upload a background image. So you can choose one uh, that they have, or you can upload your own. And again, this is a, there's just a lot that you can play around with. Um, just look through for yourself. Not overly complicated. It's just a matter of uh, getting your the look and feel of your theme uh, down to uh, the way you want it and the way you want it to look. And always make sure you hit 
save changes once you are done. So that pretty much concludes uh, how to design the look and feel of your form. Uh, I'd call it done right now, but there's one last thing I want to show you that I sh probably should have mentioned in part one. Uh, if you just want a form for short term use, then you do not, I would suggest not creating a account on this site. Um, instead, you can just share the URL, have people fill it out, and then once it's done, then you can just, once, once you're done using the form, then it will automatically go away from JotForm, or the next time you come back, it'll, I think actually the next time you come back, it'll still be here. Um, and you can reuse it again and edit it the way you want. But if you want to use a form long term, then I highly suggest that you uh, create a account and you, you'll click the sign up button. And all you do is put in a username, the email you want to use, uh, create a password and confirm your password. Uh, and then JotForm will ask you to confirm your email. Um, and again, not super complicated. Uh, I'll log into my account and show you some of the settings. Once you are logged in, you'll uh, once you have created an account and are logged in, you'll see something like this, uh, where you can come into your account and adjust certain settings. You change your avatar, have it be. You can upload your own picture. So you can select an a uh, avatar that JotForm has on their servers and on their website. Nope, don't do the thing. We're going to use your Gravatar, if you know what that is. Um, put in your phone, number, your uh, website, and your email. Uh, choose security questions, put in your company name, industry, and all that. And I have your settings. Um, again, go into all that and edit, it, edit them uh, the way you like. The theme here means the theme that you see on uh, as the background for jot form as you see because before it was kind of a gray now it's kind of a dark blue don't know if you can really tell but that's what it is uh, you can on a free account you can create up to one more sub account um, but if you pay for a, um, pay for it, a account add multiple users and whatnot and not too terribly priced. I mean, some of the bigger plans are a little more expensive, but again, I like to keep things as free as possible on, in my tutorials, so we're not going to deal with that. Uh, API keys, if you need to ever use those for something, uh, it gives you the history of like when you logged in, uh, what day, uh, from the IP address that you logged in, gives you the usage. <clears throat> you can get more. You can also get more storage by doing um, a list of things that JotForm has provided. <coughs> um, you can earn um, amount of submissions per month. Uh, you can earn more submissions per month by following them on Facebook and on Twitter and share about them on Facebook and Twitter. But honestly, uh, what I've done is I'll write something about them on Facebook and Twitter and then just later delete uh, whatever post <coughs> I made. I'll wait for it to be verified and then delete it. Uh, some of this would be really nice, but it also uh, takes a little bit more work. But doing that is completely up to you. So that is the uh, settings of a account in JotForm. And that is how you would build um, a form on JotForm, and the reason it's not showing up is because I logged in, and once you've logged in and created an account, the form you've just created ends up on your account. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it very helpful, uh, both part one and part two. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, to be notified whenever I upload new content to this channel, go hit the red subscribe button. You can go hit the other red subscribe button to subscribe to my main channel to be notified whenever I upload uh, interesting content there, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.